Hash hash, the crimson thread. In the small desolate town of Harrow's End, a peculiar seamstress named Lenora had an unusual talent for creating lifelike dolls. Residents admired her craftsmanship, but rumors swirled about the eerie accuracy of the doll's features. Some whispered that Lenora dabbled in dark arts, and others believed she had made a pact with the devil itself. One fateful evening, a stranger arrived in the town, seeking Lenora's assistance. He was a doctor named Victor, who had lost his wife, Elise, to a mysterious illness. He had traveled far and wide in search of a way to bring her back. He had heard of Lenora's skills and believed she could create a doll in Elise's likeness, one that would bring him solace in his grief. Lenora obliged and began working on the project. She gathered locks of Elise's hair, pieces of her clothing, and even a small vial of blood that Victor had preserved. As she sewed, she whispered ancient incantations under her breath, and a crimson thread wove itself into the fabric of the doll. The final result was a doll so exact in its resemblance to Elise that it sent a shiver down Victor's spine. Victor thanked Lenora and took the doll home, placing it on Elise's favorite chair. That night, while he slept, he heard the soft, familiar voice of his wife calling his name. Startled, he rushed to the living room and found the doll sitting in the same spot he had left it. He dismissed the voice as a trick of his mind and went back to bed. The following night, Victor heard Elise's voice again, but this time, it was accompanied by faint footsteps. He found the doll standing at the foot of his bed, its glassy eyes staring into his soul. Panic-stricken, Victor locked the doll in a trunk, but the whispers and footsteps continued, growing louder and more desperate each night. Unable to bear the torment any longer, Victor returned to Lenora, begging her to undo the magic she had woven into the doll. Lenora agreed, but she warned him that the process would be painful for both him and the spirit of his wife. Desperate, Victor accepted the consequences. Lenora lit a circle of black candles and began the ritual. As she chanted, the crimson thread that held the doll together began to unravel. The air grew thick with an otherworldly energy, and Elise's anguished cries echoed through the room. The doll's eyes bled tears of blood, and its limbs twitched and contorted in agony. As the last thread fell away, the doll crumbled to ashes and 